The Galaxy S20 SIPS Ultra isn't just getting an upgrade, it's getting a display so advanced it could make every other phone in 2026 look outdated on day one. We're talking about brightness levels that challenge the sun, privacy tech that feels futuristic, and materials so cutting Edge Apple won't even touch them for years. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more deep dives, and let's break down why this screen might be the biggest leap forward Samsung's made in years. First, let's talk about the new M14 display panel. Now, if that sounds like just another tech buzzword, it isn't. The previous S25 Ultra missed out on this upgrade, but Samsung's finally making it happen here. And the perks, three big ones. One, it gets brighter, meaning no more squinting outdoors when the sun's at its peak. Two, it's more power efficient, which is a lifesaver considering Samsung isn't giving us a bigger battery this year. And three, it lasts longer, so instead of your screen dulling over time, it'll stay sharp and vibrant for years. But here's the kicker Apple already introduced M14 to its iPhones, so Samsung had to push things even further. Enter COE OLED, or color on encapsulation. Think of it as OLED leveled up. Traditional OLED panels use a polarizer to cut reflections, but the trade-off is that it blocks light and drains your battery. Samsung ditched that polarizer entirely, replacing it with a futuristic film that slashes reflections without killing brightness. The result, a display that's up to one and a half times brighter, thinner, and way more efficient, all without needing extra battery juice. Apple isn't expected to use this tech until 2027, so for now, Samsung's years ahead of the curve. But here's where things get futuristic. The S26 Ultra is rumored to feature something called Flex Magic Pixel. Imagine working on your phone in a crowded cafe or on the subway, and the person next to you can't see a thing, that's because the screen itself acts like a built-in privacy shield. And it's not just on or off, you can find, tune it, choose specific apps, schedule times, even set maximum or manual modes that dim the screen in clever ways so your content stays yours. BlackBerry tried something like this ages ago, but Samsung's take looks polished, practical, and far more advanced. And then there's Samsung's third, Gen Anti, reflective coating. This might not sound flashy, but it's a quiet upgrade that makes a huge difference. Apple only recently started adding this to its iPhone 17 series, but Samsung's been refining it for years. Less glare, sharper visuals, and a display that just feels easier on the eyes. Combine this with COE OLED and the M14 panel, and you're looking at what might be the most advanced smartphone screen in the world. Here's the twist though, not every S26 model gets these goodies. The Pro and the Edge are reportedly sticking with the older M13 panels, which means they'll lag behind not just Samsung's own Ultra, but even Apple's latest phones. It's a bold strategy. On one hand, it makes the Ultra stand out as the clear crown jewel. On the other hand, it risks making the Pro feel underwhelming compared to the competition. And this battle isn't just between Samsung and Apple. Google's Pixel 10 Pro lineup already hit Insane 3, 300 nit brightness, holding the crown for the brightest screens today. But if leaks are right, the S26 Ultra's combo of COE OLED M14 materials and anti-reflective coatings could not only match that but outshine it in ways that matter, like efficiency, durability, and privacy. This isn't just about brightness, it's about building the smartest screen possible. And as if the display wars weren't enough, Samsung's also layering in new design changes across the S26 lineup. Case leaks suggest chunkier camera modules, slimmer profiles, and even Chu 2 magnets built directly into the back, finally giving Galaxy users MagSafe style accessories without third-party hacks. Early renders hint that the Ultra and Pro are sticking with pill-shaped camera modules, while the Edge shakes things up with a bold rectangular slab across the back. Then there's One UI 8.5. It's still in early testing, but leaks are already hinting at futuristic features like AI-powered private display, controls, epilepsy, safe visuals, and smart scheduling for system-wide privacy. If history repeats, this software will debut alongside the S26 Ultra, bringing the hardware and software story together in one massive leap forward. And just when you think Samsung is done, Qualcomm enters the stage. The next Galaxy Ultra is expected to run on the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy, a chip powerful enough to handle all these display upgrades while balancing power efficiency. At the same time, Samsung's rumored to be reviving its Exynos flagship strategy with a Sibganim Exynos 2600 chip making its way into some models. In short, the Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just about looks, it's about muscle too. 
So where does that leave us? On one side, Apple and Google pushing brightness to wild new heights. On the other, Samsung weaving together efficiency, privacy, and futuristic display science to deliver something that feels more complete. And while the Pro and Edge models may play it safe, the Ultra looks like the device that's not just keeping pace, it's setting the pace. If all of this holds true, the Galaxy S26 Ultra won't just have the best smartphone display of 2026, it could be the best display on any phone ever. The only real question left is, will Samsung's bold strategy pay off, or will holding back the Pro and Edge models come back to bite them? One thing's for sure, the next few months of leaks are going to be wild, and I'll be here to break them down with you. So stay tuned, because the display wars are only just getting started.